Hello cardboard lovers, it's Cardboard Badger here, I hope you're doing well, and today we have for you another Planeswalker deck unboxing badge. Bring on the box please. Ooh, more gentle this time, excellent stuff. So, this time round, we did Liliana first, but now it's time for Chandra, Chandra Flames Catalyst. There we go. So, we're going to go through this, we're going to have a look at the cards you can only get in this box, and not in a regular booster. We're also going to decide whether or not it's physically worth your while to actually buy one of these. And then we're going to upgrade it with the additional pack that we also get in the Planeswalker deck. So once we get rid of all these goodies, we have a box, we have our selection of plastic, and obviously we will begin by having a look. Oh, if we can get in there. Crikey, there we go. Let's have a look at our Chandra, who is more expensive to cast and a little bit weaker, but if you like Planeswalkers, then these are always quite good. So we have Chandra, Flames, Catalyst, six mana, four red, red. We have five loyalty Chandra, and we have plus one Chandra, Flame, Catalyst, deals three damage to each opponent, which is why I want this in my EDH deck. Also, minus two, you may cast target red instant or sorcery card from your graveyard, if that spell would be put in your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. And the minus eight, the ultimate is discard your hand, then draw seven cards until end of turn. You may cast spells from your hand without paying their mana cost. So for me, this is fantastic for my mono red in the Heb deck. And um, yeah, this is going to hopefully do great things indeed. So that is obviously our first card. One of the cards that you can only get in this box. And then we also have, in addition to that, a rare, an uncommon and common, which you can only get from this Planeswalker pack. So, we will put that aside. We will get rid of all those. We will get into our actual deck. See if we can snip into this a lot better than I did before. Oh, look at that. So, oh, crikey, this is good. This is really good. So, straight off, I didn't know this was actually in it because this card is of a reasonable price and I didn't know it was in here. So um, if we start off by saying I paid, I think, £8 for this thing. This is approximately £6 and obviously we've got a booster. So already regarding is it worth your while, if you happen to want this, then we're already on to a winner. In addition to that, we have got, and there we go, we've got Chandra's Incinerator. Now, this, I believe, is actually a reasonable price as well. Excellent stuff. It is six mana, but it is rather good. So that alone has basically paid, alongside this, has kind of paid for the box already. So um, that's always something to uh, think about. Uh, we are also going to have Double Vision. Excellent stuff indeed. Another rare. And this is the rare that you can only get from this pack. Chandra's Firemore. For five mana, three red red, we have a Helion. It's a 4-2, it's got haste, and when this enters the battlefield, you may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Chandra Flames Catalyst. Reveal it, put it into your hand. Um, so this is our tutor to go and find our Chandra. Excellent stuff indeed. And we've got two. Nice. Uh, we won't go through every single card, we're just going to focus on the cards that are part of the only available in this deck. Everything else you would normally have in a booster, but at least you get the opportunity to see exactly what you are getting in this pack. Right, currently we haven't found the next card. We've got Spellgorger Weird. Here we go. Carol Keep Disciples. Four mana. Two red red. We have a 4-3 human monk. Whenever you activate a loyalty ability of a Chandra Planeswalker, this deals one damage to each opponent. And obviously it isn't locked into the Chandra that's actually in this deck. It could be any old Chandra. Um, so that is something to think about. This is the uncommon, uh, which you can only get from this pack. How many have we got? One. Two. Are we going to get a place there? 
no oh, hang on no it's such a shame i really do think that they should put play sets in um we also have stormcaller which is the other one this is the common um only available in this one we have three mana two and a red a three two ogre shaman and when this enters the battlefield it deals two damage to each opponent and i bet you we have four of those one two three and we have four so we're getting four of the commons but not the uncommons then in addition to that we will have our lands i think possibly one alternative art is it going to happen is it there it is approximately a pound at the moment so there is our showcase mountain always one in each pack and then in addition to that we have got slaying fire infuriate shock and unleash fury double the power of target creature until end of turn very nice indeed and sure strike so we've got loads of pump spells and there we go and that is for somebody out there there you go people so there it is that is the deck but now we have the bonus can we upgrade it um what i do quite like with these for some counter kitchen table magic you could play this you could keep this and then obviously your opponent will have one as well with their planeswalker deck and basically whoever wins takes the pack as a prize or you can do what we're doing which is we open the whole thing and we try and improve it with our one pack before then playing some casual magic so um all in all i think these sets for the amount of money they cost are definitely definitely worth it so let's have a look and see if we can find some extra stuff so we've got burn bright so that is a possibility creatures you can try and get plus two plus oh to end of turn that is a good idea to be putting into our deck in addition to that we have cancel walking corpse life goes on crash through creatures you control gain trample until the end of turn and draw a card i think we're going to have to put that in uh read the tides we have our golem saber tooth mauler we have got valorous steed anointed chorister meteorite thrashing brontodon we also have alpine houndmaster nice artwork oh <laughs> well um that's great it's not going to be going in the deck but pulling a massacre worm <laughs> we've got a mythic excellent stuff indeed right well as far as i'm concerned is it worth buying this oh yes it is because we've got we got a worm that is amazing have we got anything else we have got a crag and we've got a beast token so there we go what an amazing amazing extra bonus look at that one worm um anyway uh, that is it people i hope you have enjoyed the deck i hope you've enjoyed seeing exactly what's in it and obviously if this is going to help you decide whether or not it's worth purchasing one then all is good other than that i'd just like to say um thanks for watching and we will see you again soon here on cardboard badger